हेलो पाकिस्तान एंड वेलकम टू ब्रांड न्यू एडिशन ऑफ दोस्त क्या सीन है आपको बता दें फिर दिस इज द बिगेस्ट रेडियो स्टेशन हैपनिंग राइट हियर ऑन रेडियो वन एफ एम नाइन वन द बिगेस्ट साउंड कमिंग यू वे आपको पता है कि यूजली वी डू ब्रिंग यू सम इंटरनेशनल आर्टिस्ट एंड इंटरनेशनल टैलेंट दी फील हैव अ लॉट टू ऑफर एंड ऑब्वियसली आई ऑलवेज लुक फॉर दोज टैलेंट दैट नीड टू गेट नोटिस अप इन पाकिस्तान एंड दिस गाय हैज बिन गेटिंग नोटिस विद इज अमेजिंग सिंगल कॉट शराबी इज बिन प्लेंग लाइक मैड ऑन रेडियो वन एफ एम नाइन वन एंड एवरीबडी आई थिंक आई इवन बिन टू few parties and few mainies and a few like local gatherings jahan par you know the song has been playing like mad and you know people will come up to me and ah yaar you know we don't we usually people uh, you know ask me also they're like yaar who is this artist and they, and they're just dancing to it and they're like who is this artist and i usually tell them about it so they're like why don't you interview this guy he's off the hook and i'm really 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 excited that we finally have him on the mic so ladies and gentlemen uh, all the way from the uk a really really talented uh, young man fantastic uh, work he's done up till now and really looking forward to more work that's going to come your way from this talent uh, the guy's got some mad skills so please give it up for the one and only the truth what is up brother yes what's happening yeah what's, what's going on in pakistan everybody good <laughs> everybody's all right bro how you doing you're right i'm good man we just rehearsed so we got a performance tomorrow so i'm just getting a band together doing a quick rehearsal but you know i've always got time for my radio station up in pakistan <laughs> brilliant brilliant happening, people people yeah. you know everybody's going mad they're loving this new single they're loving uh, shirabi they're going crazy to it what do you got to say Is some mad love coming your way uh, with shirabi you know what? i i i really 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 did expect that kind of um, you know support from people for the actual track like in london it blew up but it didn't do as well as it did internationally and internationally it's just been taken by storm so right now back in london they started spinning the track again which is a good look i mean thank you guys that's all i can say really thank <laughs> you to all my fans that have been playing the track you know no absolutely we've been getting some uh, great requests for it and and people are just loving the track i've even like i said i've even been to like a few parties and like some desi gatherings where they just like play this track and they're just going nuts wow. to it and they usually come up to wow. me and they ask me who the truth is so what's going wow. on what what's been happening with the truth what's been going on lately You know what um there's some big big projects up in um I've got lined up I've got some big big collaborations I'm releasing an Asian EP just great. before the summer so make sure you look out for that some yeah, great yeah, collaborations sure. on that sure. um I'm in studio with Rishi Rich next week so All right yeah, something big's going to happen there Yeah it doesn't um, get any bigger with, It doesn't yeah, get any, doesn't bigger, get any bigger, bigger than Rishi, Rishi Rich. Rich Yeah There you go Yeah There you go yeah right, cool. so I've got him um I'm working with him I'm working with Mental Beats I'm working with DJ Pinks and of course always working with my brother Bobby Wonder Bobby Wonder Those of you that don't know Bobby Wonder is the inspiration behind me he makes majority of my beats he is like my musical partner Yeah no doubt Everything no doubt do, and I really really Yeah and I really like uh, you know I I I I've heard a lot of uh, Bobby's stuff as well it's really really off the hook I mean even the recent uh, Sheila ki Jawani remix that you guys did which uh, yeah. was, uh, was which was part of a friction lab on Bobby Friction's show I, I when I heard that first time I it was, I was just blown away I mean I just the rhymes and the feel of the whole tune and the way you guys switched it up was fantastic <laughs> we appreciate that brother we appreciate that a lot yeah. we appreciate the love that we got for that track as well it just lets us on the right path we're making music that you guys want to hear which is good for us brilliant brilliant now now coming back let's go back a bit let's talk about like early beginnings all right i mean you started getting to urban music around the age of like 13 to 14 you grew up in east yeah. london and uh, you yeah. know you started like getting inspired by underground unsigned garage and two step artists so like yep. tell us about the beginning of the truth like how did how did this whole journey start initially well that basically growing up in east london there was a big urban scene that was going around and um actually one of the people i used to look up to very much in that urban scene because he was asian was rishi rich rishi rich was right. one of my inspirations behind right. the mental beat but also like garage anthems and garage um, producers and mcs such as like uh heartless crew right. you know dj right. ez these kind of people so solid crew all these kind of people I was listening to their music and I was feeling in tune with that yeah every time I go home my mom my sister they're all playing Bollywood <laughs> so I was also being introduced to that aspect so yeah so there was like so a, a lot yeah so there was like a lot of different music that was coming your way so you got inspired yeah, by everybody and like, yeah that's how I fell in love with music because no matter what kind of style of music was going on I always tried to rhyme over it which right. made me more diverse right. it helped me it helped me kind of develop a, a sound where I can jump onto any beat and it can be <laughs> the truth on it you yeah. understand what I'm saying but yeah, yeah, yeah sure. from that aspect, I I started um rapping amongst my friends and they actually said that I was talented and for somebody to say that to me I was like, kind of shocked cuz I, I was just doing it as a hobby so <laughs> right, okay. um decided to take it a little further me and Bobby set up a group um uh, we set up a group called FOA FOA uh, 
we Rich. released a couple of mixtapes through that, but honestly, uh, the past is the past. I don't want to speak about really what happened, but we went our separate ways. And right. then me and Bobby actually figured out that um, we could do this on our own. Right. So we decided right. to just start putting our material and a lot of UK underground started to hear it. And that's when um, artists would pick names such as Mentor and Richie Rich. Yeah, they like took notice of theme. your work, yeah. Yeah, and they took notice of our work, which which was a big thing for me and Bobby because we've been aiming for that kind of perspective <laughs> for a long time. And now, now that my track's getting played out in Pakistan, that's the journey of the truth. That's the journey of the. That is the truth. You know what I mean? So that, I, is the that is the truth. All right, now, now I I need to tell everybody out there. I mean, obviously, people have been listening to your music. They know what you're all about. They love your skills. But I need to let everybody know that during the, there there was a time when you took a break from music to concentrate on your like degree. I mean, you were working. Um, uh, on like you know your studies and you were like busy with that. You actually have a degree in law. Is that true? That is very. Correct. That is true. So ha, all right now that's like sort of like that's sort of like a dream for all rappers because you get into trouble you can get out of it because you know about the law. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know that's what I mean. So yeah. So is, is that was that the plan? Like every time any, uh, you know anybody anybody. At first it wasn't, but I guess it became that way because <laughs> I, I turned up to my law lectures with my hat turned backwards. And oh. I had my okay. While I'm walking in there and I walked out with a good enough grade with a degree i got a law degree and i got a business degree right and uh, my brother bobby's got a management degree oh and my a god degree, so we so both, we got, so we got we some about education very seriously yeah so we got some educated people up in uh the daisy music scene is that it that's that's very true that's <laughs> very true uh, right. if you try and stop with all of my music i know how to legally get you <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true that's true all right now coming back like um to the first single that you guys released you and bobby in 2010 yeah. you came out with kya karun now what was the uh, initially initially when that track came out what what was it like getting um you know you some... know what um the reason that we made kya karun right we had such a big underground buzz that we decided that we needed to take it a bit more um commercial right. or mainstream right. with our music so that actual radio stations such as yourselves will pick it up right so we decided to make a track based more for the media industry than the fans. However, the track turned out to be a big hit for both sides. Right. And the reason we did it was, we just wanted to say, what would I have to do to become one of these names in the track? Right. And um, I didn't actually think that I would get such a big response, but I actually got calls from every single artist that <laughs> I've actually labeled in the track, right. gave me a call and right. personally thanked me for actually putting their name on the track. And uh, another couple of artists who I didn't mention, actually even gave me a call really met in <laughs> then, then you know you, in the track. yeah then you know you're doing something right right exactly. when you have people then that you I don't even yeah and <laughs> that's brilliant all right everybody as you know radio 1 fm 91 we're talking to the truth all the way from the uk now coming back to you uh and and all your latest work like wh now what is what is going to be the initial next single that we're going to be hearing from the truth? okay um uh, we've been debating that for a little while right yeah. now yeah but uh from the asian ep where we're We're going to shoot um, two, three videos in the next couple of months. Right, right. And um, I think whichever video comes out the nicest, yeah. I'm going to release first. I would, that, I would love to see. I would love to see a video of you and like Katrina getting down in the Sheila Ki Jawani remix. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm serious, man. Well. So if you guys meet, <laughs> I know I'm looking for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I'll definitely, <laughs> let, I'll definitely let her know. And I'm sure she's probably just going to be like, yeah, that's the truth. I'm, I'm definitely going to do a video with the truth <laughs> for sure. She's probably like, yes, she's yes, probably like, happen. you know. She's probably going to show off Sheila Ki Jawani up in the video. I'm totally looking forward <laughs> to that one. Yeah, but let's hope that works out. But until then, I'm still going to be releasing uh, yeah. some free mixtapes and downloads, right. and, you know, free freestyles and stuff like that. So make sure you're keeping it locked onto the twitter.com forward slash the truth music. Yeah. Or log onto my website, www.thetruthmusic.co.uk, and you'll get all the exclusives. Brilliant. Now, before you leave, brother, can we get a freestyle? Come on, give us a freestyle. Can you spit something uh, for us right wanna, now? You want a freestyle? Yeah, give us, uh, give us a, sp like, spit something for us, man. Because, I, I mean, I, okay. obviously, I'm a fan of your work everybody out there who's listening to you right now is a fan of your work uh, so we want to just like get something something specially okay. for us yeah for the people of All Pakistan right, look, look. My back's on the roads, but I won't give up. I keep hope in my heart and then soak it up. I'll be a man of my word and keep on my grind, even though sometimes I may lose my mind. I want to get paid, get food on the table. I'm trying to eat, no support from a label. I never got no love, so I earned it. I turned in the page and I damn near burned it. Read my chapter on how to survive. I lived in the jungle and came out alive. To the streets so my thoughts run wild. Reminiscing about life as a child. Getting beat, get me fuel for the fire. My tank is a fool, now I burn with desire. I'm living life every day to the wire. Looking from below, I can only get higher. Oh, <laughs> that was that was banging, man. That was straight up gangster right there. Thank you so much, The Truth, for talking to us all the way live from the UK. I just before you leave, though, is there anything you want to say to the fans out there who are listening to you right now? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Pakistan, all my fans out there, everybody listening to the Radio One Show right now. 
I just want to let you guys know I love you guys so much. Without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am. So please do keep supporting and please do keep it locked onto the websites and the Twitter and the Facebook. Everything is forward slash The Truth Music. Plus, remember the website is www.thetruthmusic.co.uk and let's spread the truth. All right. Thank you very much, brother, talking to us live all the way from the UK. You take care of yourself. God bless. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for having me on there. One love. Oh, one love. Peace.